so a brand like Burberry would be working their digital agencies very hard to get the most high-end experience out of what is really a very low res and old school medium. Um, and so shortcuts to that is photography. Um, does anyone else want to feel free to sort of tell me what you think of these? This is actually a design of an EDM, not a real EDM, but um, the best I can find. So, you know, what are some of the words that you make you feel? How does that, this piece of communications, does it, is it on brand? Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's luxurious, it looks mm. fabulous, it's well shot, yep. the lighting's great, it looks like something that you want. Mm. So it's, you know, it's prestige, it's, um, it's powerful, it is, it is those things that, that Burberry is setting out to do. Now, Facebook, obviously, you, you start to get some limitations here, really. You're, you, you've got, got to have your logo. It's got to be square. You're not allowed to change the name of your, the colour, the font of the name of your page. So you can see that Burberry's not in their logo. It's in blue. It's in Facebook blue. Um, but here's just a couple of Facebook posts. They heavily rely on video because they can. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, look, here's a Facebook post. It's... It's beautifully written. Um, I love this. Mixing notes of glazed pomegranate and lemon over crisp apple, jasmine and wisteria. I love this. The scent carries the sparkling energy of a London garden, awakening to the first light of day. <laughs> and, you know, one of the things that is, is quintessentially Burberry is that it is a UK brand. So they've, they've gone, OK, well, one of our things is we are a UK brand. So, of course, it's a London garden. It's not, in, it's not a Sydney garden. So... Um, it's short. They've got their own URL shortener, you'll notice on the end, so that the URL is on brand. It's quite hard to kind of, URLs are messy, ugly. Um, they've done their best to make that as neat and beautiful and, and Burberry as possible. Um, here's another one, another video. Shop the look. It's really clear on what they want you to do at the end of that post. Again, URL shortener, same sort of styling of video. Uh, you know. Oh, so how does it benefit them by shortening the URL? Because I wouldn't, if I was trying to remember their URL, I wouldn't even come close to that. Uh, what that does in that context, and this is a really technical Facebook thing, is it allows them to have a video but also have a URL. So you know how you put a URL to Facebook, it'll send you to the web page. So it's a way of sort of doubling up on the calls to action. So you're going to view the video in situ, and then you, but then there's a call to action to take you to their objective, which is go and buy online. Um, likewise with a uh, series of photos from a runway show, using the Facebook medium, but making it clear that what they want you to do. Their objective is to sell these clothes, so shop the show. But again, really nice, concise piece of writing. Um, when you move into Twitter, what they are not doing, which I, is fantastic, and uh, I know it is tempting, but they are not just pushing out the same stuff on Facebook and Twitter. Mm. It's a completely different messaging. There is, or couldn't, I couldn't see any overlap. Um, in what they were talking about. Um, I know from myself, uh, my business, I definitely push stuff out through multiple social networks at once. So I know that when we're time poor and budget poor, but in a perfect world, you, what, they, what they're doing here is they're really working in the medium, looking at the end of medium and working backwards and how to communicate their brand best in that medium. Um, so again, nice strong call to action. So there's those common characteristics that shop the look making it clear on what they want people to do.